Now that we've explored the relational operators and how to relate uh, characters with each other, what else can we use them for? Well, these logical operations are used to control which bits of code and which bits of a script run based on certain conditions. Okay, and we use the um, operations or the uh, commands if, else if, and else um, commands in MATLAB to make to make certain runs, uh, certain lines of code run. And the construction is simply, if a condition is true, then run this command. So you say if, and then you, at this point, you put in your logical, logical um, condition or expression, okay? And then you run a certain command, and then you type end at the end, okay? So if we make a new script, we could run a simple um, uh, statement if we said, uh, so this is a, a simple conditional statement script, okay, and we could just say some, something very simple, like x equals 5, if x is less than 5, and set y to be equal to 10, and then we end. And so like I said, we, we like uh, so there's our construction, if, then we've got our condition, there's the command that it'll run, if that condition is true, and if it doesn't, um, then it skips that line. And then we have to write end to finish it off. So if we were to run this script, okay, I'll just call this uh, um, conditional. Okay, put it there. You can see that y has not been defined. But if we set x to be, I don't know, x to be two, and then we run the script, you can see that it defines y to be ten in here. Okay. So when when x was five, it, this condition was not met. Y was not read, not defined. But when it was two. This condition was met, and so that command is run. Now, for something that's a little bit more complicated, let's open this pre written script. Simple if script one, which is available on Blackboard. Okay, now this uh, script was written a little while ago, um, and basically, we clear the workspace, we run, um, uh, clear the command screen, and then we define x to be a random number, random number between. 0 and 1 of 1, and so it's a vector of 1 value long, okay? It then checks whether x is less than 0.5, and if that is indeed the case, then it displays the number generated is greater than 0.5, and if it's not the case, then it will not display that line. So if we run this script, okay, it generated a number so of 0.8147, that was a random number between 0 and 1, and indeed, so this condition is therefore met, therefore it displays this line. Okay, and if we run it again, let's see what number it generates. Okay, it's still point uh, greater than 0 0.5, 0 0.9058. Let's run it again. Oh, 1270. Now, because that condition was not met, that line is therefore not um, redefined. Now, we can modify the script to actually um, it do various things depending on um, whether other conditions are met as well. Okay. And let's um, and that and it does it does those other other conditions if other commands are not met. Now we could obviously just say else disp, and we could uh, just enter the opposite. The number generated is less than zero point five. Okay, so basically what that will do is when it runs this command. So if we run it now, okay, it'll generate a number point nine one three four. Because that was met, the number generated is greater than 0.5. If we run it again, it's still greater than 0.5. Let's run it again. This time we're less than 0.5, and so because this condition was met, it then jumped to this line, the number generated less than 0.5. Okay. Notice that we did not need to give this line a condition because um, because if it doesn't meet this one, then it will meet this one. I guess the only um, a case where that is the case is if the random gen number generated is equal to 0.5 but obviously we can actually put an equal sign in here as greater than or equal to or equal to so therefore in that case we then are with a with a script that won't have any issues okay um, so you run it keep running over and over again and it will keep um, either showing this line or this line depending on what that number that random number generated is. Okay. 
Now, we can actually complicate this a, a little bit further. If we said in here, instead of uh, 0.5, let's go less than 0.2. Okay, check whether the number is less than. Less than 0.2. Okay, if that's the case. And we can say in here that if it's less than 0.2, we have a very low, very, very low value for x. Okay. Now, instead of saying just else, we're going to say, okay, well, else if x is less than 0 0.8, say. Okay, so we're going to check whether x is less than 0 0.8. Okay, and if that's the case, we know that we've got a medium, oops, medium value for x. Okay, and now we say else if x is else, um, we can say in here a uh, very high value for x. Okay, now notice so we've got this condition here. If x is less than point two, then we you know, we make that check. And if that is true, indeed the case, we can say we've got a very low value for x. Okay. If that condition is not met, it then jumps to this line and checks for this condition. If x is less than 0 0.2, 0 0.8, um, then we can know we know for sure we've got a median value for 0.x. We've got an x value between 0.2 and 0.8, so we can say that's medium. Okay. If this condition is not met and this condition is not met, then it jumps to this line and will display a very high value for x. Because if it's not less than point, if it's less than point two, then it would do this. If it's not less than point two, it checks for this. And if it's not less than point eight, it then checks and then displays the the only alternative, which is between point eight and one. And so if we run this script now, okay, we've got point nine seven. We've got a very high value for x. If we run it again. 0.95, very high. 0.48, so we've got a medium value. 0.803, very high, just. 1419, we've got a very low value for x. Okay. Now you can see how this code is indented. That just makes it e sort of re easier to read. In MATLAB will usually do this for you automatically, but if not, you can highlight your code and you can choose um, for MATLAB to uh, automatically indent it as you as you as you need need it to. Okay, there's a button here to do a smart indent. Um, so this line here is the simple if statement. If this condition is false, then MATLAB moves onto the else if command on this in this line okay check in this condition if this if this if the result is this is also false then it moves on to the else command okay um and and which catches all other possibilities you're free to use as many else if commands as you like before you use an else or an end and if you're not obliged to use an else command at all but it must end the sequence of commands with an end. So yeah, we didn't need to actually display this one if we didn't want to. But then obviously it wouldn't display what happens when x is greater than 0.8. Okay, it would display nothing. Um, but it, you must all must end all if commands with an end down here.